This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. it out there. So I'm not hearing it on the stream, even though it says it's coming through as well.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. As we gather to celebrate the sacred liturgy, we pause and call to mind our sins. We call to mind God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you come to save and heal the sinner. Lord, have mercy. When we are in darkness, you are the light. Christ, have mercy. When we are lost, you yourself are the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Lord God, you care for your people with gentleness and rule us in love. Through the intercession of Pope St. Gregory, endow with a spirit of wisdom those to whom you have given authority to govern, that by the flourishing of a holy flock may become the eternal joy of the shepherds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, let no one deceive themselves. If anyone among you considers himself wise in this age, let them become a fool so as to become wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness in the eyes of God, for it is written, God catches the wise in their own ruses. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. So let no one boast about human beings, for everything belongs to you, Paul, or Apollos, or Cephas, or the word of, or the world, or life, or death, or the present, or the future, all belongs to you and you to Christ and Christ to God. The word of the Lord. To the Lord belongs all the earth. All the earth. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and all who dwell in it. For the Lord founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. To the Lord belongs all the earth. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? Those whose hands are sinless, whose hearts are clean, who desire not what is vain. To the Lord belong the he shall receive a blessing, a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God, his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. To the Lord belongs the... Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While the crowd was pressing in on Jesus and listening to the word of God, he was standing by the lake of Genesaret. He saw two boats there alongside the lake. The fishermen had disembarked or washing their nets. Getting into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, Jesus asked him to put out a short distance from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. After he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into deep water, lower your nets for a catch. Simon said in reply, Master, we have worked hard all night and have caught nothing, but at your command I will lower the nets. When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish, and the nets were tearing. They signaled to their partners in the other boat to come and help them. They came and filled both boats so that the boats were in danger of sinking. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus and said, depart from me, for I am a sinful man. For astonishment at the catch of fish they had made seized Peter and all those with him. And likewise, James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners of Simon. Jesus said to Simon, from now on, do not be afraid. You will be catching men. When they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything and followed Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Way back when I was a rookie priest, I worked at Good Shepherd in Inwood. And um, the pastor uh, came and said to me, uh, well, Paul, we haven't had Eucharistic ministers at this church so far. So I want you to think about some people that would be good for this ministry and invite them and help them get ready. First person I thought of was um, an Irishman named Peter. He was about 60 years old, often came to daily mass. I knew him, a good man. So I um, saw him in the uh, sacristy one day, and I, I said, Pete, I uh, need to ask you something. He said, yes. I'd like you to serve as a Eucharistic minister. And he said in his uh, delightful accent, ah, but Father, I'm not worthy. Hmm. I looked him in the eye and said, well, that's true, Pete, you're not worthy, but we need you to do it. He was kind of taken aback, but then I think he was getting it, and I said, if you think about it, Pete, I'm certainly not worthy to care for and carry the body of Christ. I don't even think the Pope is worthy of that. But yet, here we are, stewards of the body and blood of Christ. Pete was a very good Eucharistic minister, especially in the ministry of bringing communion to the sick at home. I had occasion to go with him one Sunday morning, and uh, when the sick woman's daughter opened the door and we went in, Pete was carrying the Eucharist, and he said, peace be to this house. And I knew it was so. Peace came to this house with Pete and Jesus. Are you and I? worthy of the body of Christ? 
Are you and I worthy of what Jesus does for us in his death and rising? No way. Yet Jesus calls us to his table. Jesus calls us to serve him, sometimes as Eucharistic ministers or proclaimers of the word, sometimes as ministry to the hungry and homeless. We're not worthy, but Jesus needs us to be his hands and feet and voice. And with grace, we respond. Also in this reading today, it struck me that um, at least the text does not tell us if Jesus asked permission to come aboard. He just got in the boat, apparently, um, and said, go out a little bit so he could talk to the people without being pressed in upon. And then when he was done with the teaching, he says, put out into the deep. Peter hesitates, but he goes ahead. Being called into the deep with Jesus. That's um, sometimes a scary thing, but it's a beautiful and awesome thing. Jesus is calling us to love him and walk with him and serve with him. Please stand. Let us continue in prayer for our needs and the needs of the Holy Church ourselves that we will be made ready to follow Christ in all things. We pray to the Lord. For um, Paulist seminarians Richard and Michael who will be ordained deacons on Saturday and for the other ser seminarians who will be making religious promises. We pray to the Lord. For Zoila, for all the sick for whom we are asked to pray, we pray to the Lord. For our country, we pray to the Lord. For these prayers we have spoken and those that remain in the heart and for all the young adults who will be confirmed here on Sunday afternoon. We pray to the Lord. Father, with confidence in your mercy, we put all our needs before you in the name of Jesus the Lord. Pray, my friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, grant 
our supplication that this sacrifice we present on the day of St. Gregory may be for our good, since through its offering you have loosed the offenses of all the world through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will, gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with angels and saints, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples. Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the cup and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples. Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the cup of salvation, giving thanks that you hold us worthy to be here in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world. Bring us to the fullness of love together with Francis, our Pope, Timothy, our Bishop, and all who serve in your name. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may come to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever 
and ever. We pray for the coming of the kingdom as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all distress as we await the joyful hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom and the power and the glory. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, my peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you. We share a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed. body of Christ. Body of Amen. Christ. Body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen.
Let us pray. Lord, through Christ the teacher, instruct those you feed with Christ the living bread, that on this feast day we may learn your truth and express it in works of charity through Christ our Lord. After Mass, I'll be available for confession uh, by the uh, North Tower. Thanks for coming. Thanks for praying with us. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit remain with you forever. Let us go in peace to proclaim the gospel with our lives.